Good afternoon, everyone that's joined us uh, physically here at the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. And for those of us joining online, uh, I'll go ahead and just gavel us in. Uh, my name is Rocky Swift. I'm a correspondent at Reuters uh, here in Tokyo. Um, it seems like every day um, is bringing us more news about uh, the vaccines and development for COVID-19, uh, as well as some of the challenges that are still remaining in terms of logistics. Uh, with that in mind, we're very lucky to be joined by our guest today, who is at the forefront of this issue here in Japan. Dr. Ryichi Morishita is a professor of clinical gene therapy at Osaka University. And he's also the founder of a biotech called Anges, uh, whose DNA-based ba vaccine is now further in development than uh, pretty much all of the other uh, vaccine candidates that are that are started or invented in Japan. Uh, with that, I'd like to hand it off to uh, Professor Morishita uh, for opening remarks and presentation, and then hopefully we can have uh, plenty of time for Q&A. So thank you very much, Professor Morishita. Okay. Thank you for your kind introduction, Noki. My name is Ariuchi Morishita from Osaka University. I'm also acting as a medical advisor of Osaka University Sumi on Bench of Anges. So today, I would like to share our data about the uh, DNA vaccine against COVID-19. So now we will prepare the slide presentations. But before that, I want to mention that uh, DNA vaccine can be developed by the, our long history of plasma-based DNA uh, gene therapy areas. Actually, Andes was founded in 1990 in the, uh, Osaka and then became a public to the uh, Tokyo Mothers Market 2002. And basically, Andes have developed the uh, GF plasma DNA gene therapy drug to uh, stimulate collateral formation to supply the uh, blood flow into the ischemic Hindu limbs. The target is a critical limb ischemia of a uh, peripheral arterial disease. The currently there are limited uh, treatment for the, uh, such kind of a patient. So if the patient cannot go to the uh, vascular bypass or endovascular revascularizations, patient usually would go to the amputations. So there are very, very high unmet medical needs. So therefore, to dissolve these kind of situations, our groups have tried to develop HGL, hepatocyte growth factor gene therapy drug to stimulate collateral formations. So actually, last year, we successfully launched HGF gene therapy drugs. The name is Collategens. By the improvement of the uh, PMDA and the Minister of Health, Lava Welfare, MHLW. So we have, based on the, these commercial available technologies, we have entered to the uh, develop of uh, DNA vaccines. So now coming. So actually, we moved to the very first into the clinical trial. But the reason why we are very so advanced is that the, to use such kind of uh, previous safety data profile and also QC and QA data based on the collagen. So to additional such kind of uh, data, the company Anges. Just a moment. While we're waiting, maybe I can ask a question <laughs> okay. about, uh, you know, it, 
we were talking just a moment ago, you know, a lot of people are nervous about this third wave and mm -hmm. the potential for maybe going back into a uh, state of emergency. Do you have any, any thoughts on that from your perspective? The you mean that uh, we have about coronavirus at this point? Actually, uh, the, now the uh, third wave came to the Japan, especially in Tokyo and Osaka. But I think that the problem this wave will be stable until the, uh, this, year, this week or something like that. Because already many people have uh, moved to the Jishuku manner. Right. So, uh, so they're changing their behavior right. That's to, very to lower the, the, the risk. Yes. Uh, yes. I see. OK. OK. Well, looks like we're OK. Now we want to start. <laughs> so here is a uh, plasmid DNA vaccine platform technologies. Already I mentioned that the company Andes have tried to develop plasmid DNA vaccine platforms. So plasmid DNA have several advantages. The first of all, it is very easy to produce E. coli based fermentations. And also, oh, transfection of a plasma DNA is very simple, only using needle and syringe injections. So, there is no specific delivery device. And also, plasma DNA is known to induce both T cell and B cell derived antibody response. The already WHO vaccine guideline mentioned about this point. So also another big point is plasma DNA does not produce the specific antibody against the vectors. This means that resulting in the allurement of a repeating dosage. So this is very different from adenoviral vector systems. So already I mentioned that the HG gene drugs was uh, approved in Japanese government. Okay. Here is the uh, appearance of the collagens. Uh, already last year, the uh, MHLWs approved this gene therapy drugs as the first gene therapy drug in Japan. As you can see here is a uh, plasma vector product. So collagen is also a first plasma DNA uh, gene therapy drug in the world. So based on the, this long history platform technology, we enter to the uh, DNA vaccines. So currently the collagen is fully covered by public health care reimbursement systems. So target disease is critical limb ischemia in PND. The uh, critical limb ischemia demonstrated uh, ischemic ulcer, such kind of here. And unfortunately, uh, one year mortality 25, and uh, about one of three will require major lower limb amputation within a year. So here's the concept of a therapeutic angiogenesis using HGF gene therapy drugs. So directly intramuscular injection of a plasma DNA encoding human HGF can stimulate therapeutic angiogenesis to supply blood flow into such kind of ischemic areas. So uh, already we have finished phase three clinical trial, a plasma double blind study, and currently also US phase two B study are ongoing. So here's the result of a phase HGF phase three trial. The in case of a plasma treatment, the ischemic ulcer size was not changed during the periods. But in contrast, collagen treatment groups exhibited significant improvement in the ischemic ulcer size. So currently, the uh, collagen have an indication. Is the improvement of ulcer in patient with chronic arterial ungressive disease ASO and vaginal disease who have inadequate response to standard drug therapy and difficulty in undergoing revascularizations. So based on these technologies, the company have also another uh, clinical trial in Australia as a phase one slash two. So this another DNA vaccine is to treat hypertension. So this product is designed to not neutralize angiotensin 2 actions, as angiotensin 2 is well-known blood pressure 
インクルージングファクターズ。So already for some of you have been treated by angiotensin receptor blockers and bees in hypertension patient. The angiotensin 2 DNA vaccine have a similar effect of the air and bees. So we have obtained very good animal data. Therefore, we have started in Australia with one slash two year study from the 2018. And already all patients were enrolled on the early of this year. And the top line data will be available in this whole queue of this year. So, based on the, these studies, we have a still insist on the development of a plasmid DNA platform technologies. So, now we want to try to develop DNA vaccine against COVID 19. So, already the advantage of a DNA vaccine is clearly described by WHO vaccine guidelines. This guideline mentions Plasmid DNA is rapid cloning and testing in animals for antibody immunity. And DNA vaccine can induce neutralizing antibody and CD4 plus CD8 T cell responses. And also, extensive human safety database was available with DNA vaccines. Again, no immune response against the plasmid vector was known. And also, No handling of a pathogen or mammalian tissues are known. So, it is another important point is that DNA vaccine is stable at ambient temperature. So, based on this good profile of a DNA vaccine, we and Osaka University Swing of Venture and JES co developed COVID 19 DNA vaccine. And our team also collaborated with Takara Bio for the plasmid manufacturing. And with the Dyson Corporation to apply their needleless drive jet injectors, as shown later. So, this study was founded from the MHLW and AMEDOS. We already started. Phase one to study in Japan from the June 13th this year. So, here is a summary of our DNA vaccine. Our DNA vaccine is designed to target spike protein of a new coronavirus. The, this target is very similar to other vaccine groups, including AstraZeneca, Moderna, and Pfizer, and so on. So, we inserted cDNA of a spike protein of a new coronavirus into the plasma DNA backbones common to the collagens. Because already plasma backbone of a collagens has been approved for commercial available drugs. So, therefore, we utilize the same systems. Actually, we cut off Human HGF gene from the this backbone and inserted newly spike protein of a cDNA. And then we make gene productions with the Takara bios. Here is a comparison of a classical vaccine method using hen's egg. So, influenza virus vaccines. Currently used this hen's egg method. In roughly say that the viral attenuated and then seeded into the living chicken eggs. So in living cells, influenza virus could be increased day by day, and before the becoming chickens, then this. Fluid which c o n t a i n influenza virus collected and make the vaccines. However, in case of a coronavirus, this method is not so easy because we don't know how to attenuate the activity of a coronavirus, and also we do not know coronavirus. 
can be increased in living chicken eggs. But indeed, I heard that the chicken method is very difficult to increase new coronavirus. So currently the company have changed the method from the chicken egg to the uh, living uh, kidney cells from the monkeys for the virus productions. So basically this type of a classical virus method is so called the virus type of vaccines. So instead of a virus type of vaccines, so our DNA vaccine method is easy to rapid productions because only we should know the information of our genomes, of a spike protein of a new coronavirus. And we do not necessarily to handle the vi uh, living virus. So therefore, uh, it is easy to make the vaccine design and also vaccine production in the lab scale. Actually, we produce GMP levels vaccine and check the animal study and also safety data. Here is the data how DNA vaccine induced antibody against spike protein and receptor binding domains in the various models. So after the three time inoculation of a DNA vaccine, we observe increase in the against antibody against spike protein, also albumin domain. So this increase in the antibody can diminish the uh, infection of a pseudo virus. Here is the neutralizing activities. And also we confirm T cell mediated cell toxicities using L spot assay by the evaluation of an interferon gamma. So what is the level of a neutralizing activity induced by DNA vaccines? We compared neutralizing antibody titer in the patient of COVID-19. Actually, the level of a neutralizing antibody titer was also comparable to the a neutralizing antibody titer of the patient who recovered from COVID-19. So actually, we know the two types of the uh, SARS-CoV-2, so-called Wuhan type, and European type. The difference is recognized by the uh, one amino acid difference in the spike proteins. So we originally designed DNA vaccine against Wuhan type of a virus. But even in the European type of a virus, the DNA vaccine can antagonize their activities in the similar manner. So therefore, we believe that our DNA vaccine can be responded to the uh, current uh, wave of a coronavirus based on the European type of SARS-CoV-2. So in addition to the uh, safety data, we uh, conducted two independent phase one, two clinical studies. The first phase one, two clinical trials enrolling the 30 healthy volunteer to test dosage. One milligram two weeks interval twice versus two milligram two weeks interval twice. And the next one also enrolled 30 healthy volunteer. So in these trials, we have a three different arms. First one is two milligram two weeks interval twice. Second one is two milligram four x interval twice. The last one is two milligram two x intervals three times. So currently from the, these two clinical trials, we analyzed the safety aspect. We found that no specific adverse effect. The safety profile is very similar to the collateral safety data. So we move to phase two, three clinical trial enrolling 500 healthy volunteers from this month. So this study was designed randomized double-blind placebo control studies. 
So this is a, a shame, shame of a first phase one to clinical trial. Already I mentioned this study enrolled two arms, one milligram or two milligram dosage. The primary endpoint is safety and trainability. The second clinical trial is the three arms. The primary endpoint is the similar. The recent phase two three clinical trial design randomized placebo control study enrolling 100 healthy volunteers. So in this uh, study have uh, two arms. One is two milligram two weeks in intervals, placebo 50 versus vaccine 200. The second arm is two milligram cross four weeks in intervals. Now we are ongoing these studies. So apart from the, these studies, we also tried to develop future DNA vaccine to increase immunogenicity. So we collaborated with Dyson and to develop such kind of intradermal injection of our DNA vaccines. So we will plan open level dose escalation study in 30 energy adult in these studies. So here is the productions. As you see, this fermenter is 500 liter, which is enough to produce 0.25 million per year. If we make 2,000 liter fermenter, it's enough to make 1 million per year. So therefore, we are now looking for the such kind of fermenter with collaborators. So currently, under Takara Biomanufacturing, we collaborate with AGC, Asahi Gas Corporation, Shiorogi Pharma, and Kaneka, and also Saitiba. And also, here is a collaborator of our project. So we have an uh, agreement for the clinical trial with Osaka Prefecture and Osaka City. And also, budget was supported by AMEDO and the Japanese government. And we have collaborated with the Dyson for injecting. And also we have planned to develop second generation of DNA vaccine conjunction with the uh, peptide. So we collaborate with the FarmPep and the future to develop such kind of second generations. Actually, here is a summary of our nature articles. The nature categorizes whole different kind of uh, vaccines. The first of classical virus vaccines. And the second one is protein-based vaccines. And the third one is a viral vector vaccines, which include adenovirus vaccine developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca. And Pfizer and Moderna uh, belong to the, this nucleic acid vaccine as RNA vaccine. So currently, as you know, RNA vaccine, as well as AstraZeneca adenoviral vaccine, reported very good efficacy. So here is the Japanese development companies. The, our groups, ANGES, as well as the Daiichi Sankyo, developed the belong to these nucleic acid vaccines. Shionogi Pharma developed protein-based vaccine, and ID Pharma develop viral vector vaccine using Sendai virus. And the Ken Biogics have developed based on the viral vector vaccines as a, a classical manner. So here is the summary of phase one to result of the COVID-19 vaccine. Unfortunately, phase two, three trial have not yet published. But even in the phase one to study, all of the type of vaccine have reported very good immunogenicity. However, side effect is very different. For example, Pfizer RNA vaccine reported very high level of fatigue and headache as a side effect. And the Moderna groups also reported fatigue and headaches. In case of other viral vectors, AstraZeneca groups have reported like cold disease conditions, such kind of fatigue and headache and so on. Chinese other viral fire vector also similar result. So now the first runner 
probably AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Moderna, and so groups. Now we are now catch to the, these areas. Still we are trying to develop DNA vaccine. We think that high safety profile is very important for the repeated injection in future. Therefore, we are still considering how to increase immunogenicity with high level of safety. So now still we are considering such kind of strategies. Here the vaccine strategy of the Japan government. So already Japan government agreed to purchase AstraZeneca 60 million, Pfizer RNA vaccine 60 million, and Moderna RNA vaccine 25 million. The result is very well, but still there are some problems of long-term efficacy and also supply chain issues, especially Pfizer RNA vaccine require minus 70 degree maintenance. So vaccine administration is reported to the all populations, but the first candidate are social essential workers and high-risk elderly, and all costs are belong to the government. If side effects will be cut, the responsibility will be fully covered by government. So hopefully we will get very good vaccine candidate very soon. So now I have uh, two uh, books, unfortunately little in Japanese, but if you have uh, uh, interest, please read that. Uh, here the next one is uh, this one. Thank you for your attention. I'm very happy to have uh, uh, Q&A sessions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Morishita. Uh, let's start with uh, any questions in the room for those of us that are, are gathered here today. We, sure, please say your name and your affiliation, and please keep the questions to just to one. Just to one? Thank you. Okay. Uh, Hello, Morishita Sensei. It's nice to see you again. Hiroshi um, I wanted to uh, ask you to expand a little bit on the last point that you mentioned mm -hmm. about the potential issues of distribution and uh, keeping the vaccine. Uh, I would like to ask, uh, as somebody who is at the forefront of uh, vaccine development in Japan, what kind of issues do you see in Japan that need to be addressed before we get a vaccine? Mm -hmm. And uh, you mentioned briefly that your vaccine vaccine uh, is stable at room temperature, so how would be the vaccine that you're developing fit into all of this? Okay. Thank you. Actually, the uh, cold supply chain issues now come on, uh, currently becoming very important issues. Probably the city side could be possible, but even in that case, the uh, Pfizer RNA vaccine is very short storage. Probably we need you know, population uh, based you know, uh, administration of vaccine or something like that. That Moderna vaccine is relatively uh, stable. They say that minus 20 degree. And actually, is the current DNA vaccine is also used minus 20 degree. So basically, uh, DNA vaccine is stable at room temperatures. But to uh, launch the uh, drugs, we need several stu uh, studies for the maintenance or storage uh, examinations. The unfortunate, we have not yet finished our DNA vaccine, but uh, in near futures, it, I think it is possible to supply uh, lower temperature and lower room temperature. The basically, you know, Nasmi DNA is very stable. And, uh, but I heard that AstraZeneca's uh, vaccine is very stable because this is due to the uh, character, characteristics of adenovirus. So uh, another uh, difficult point is that to combine such kind of a very different kind of a vaccines in the hospitals. How hospital can maintain you know, such kind of very complicated you know, storage. So that, I think that is another you know, difficult point for the uh, vaccine administrations. I mean, the uh, storage issues? Okay. Actually, uh, our DNA vaccine storage currently minus 20. But uh, 
This is due to the、uh, not yet examination of a storage test. So, after the storage test, the DNA vaccine is very stable, even at room temperature, at a h o l e degree or something like that. Now we have tried to、uh, do such kind of a、uh, storage test, but、uh, still we、uh, modify the DNA vaccine itself. So, therefore, the initial、uh, point. Probably we use minus 20, but later we will change you know, more common you know,、uh, storage and also delivery systems. Thank you. Anyone else? Sure. Mr. Fulford? Uh, Benjamin Fulford, Weekly Geopolitical News and Analysis.、Um, I've been to many hospitals and I have yet to confirm that this、uh, COVID actually exists. My sister,、uh, Martha Fulford, is the chief of medicine at McMaster University Hospital、mm -hmm. and a specialist in infectious diseases.、Mm -hmm. She also, also says it doesn't exist,、mm -hmm. as does the chief, the former recently fired chief scientist at Pfizer.、Mm -hmm. I could go on. There are thousands of people saying this is the biggest fraud carried out in human history. My question is have you actually seen this thing in a microscope? The CDC says on their own website they don't even have samples. So, have you actually seen this so called COVID or certificate of vaccine uh, ID uh, virus? Okay. okay. So, I cannot fully、really、understand what is your point yet. My point is have you seen the virus yourself in a microscope? Why use a microscope? What did you use? A computer? Actually, you know,、oh, the, it is a different point. Okay. Actually, I have never seen that because of the,、uh, it is very difficult to see by microscope. Okay. Okay. So you haven't seen it. All right. All right. And, and、uh, have you actually seen anybody who's got this sickness yourself? No, I'm not there yet. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Any other questions in the room? Sir. Please step to the microphone and say your name, please. I have,、uh, my name is Ueno, Kazuo Ueno.、Um, uh, basically, I work as a、uh, science, science journalist anyway. And、uh, my basic question is uh, uh, I'm not interested in、uh, something your special investigation for、mm -hmm. scientific, you know. Uh, my point of view is、uh, exactly the same as Benjamin Fulford,、uh, because、uh, I don't think you identify the existence of the、uh, so called、uh, coronavirus, you know, because you said、uh, mm. you didn't see the microscope,、mm. you know, you have never seen. Do you have a、uh, question, sir? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my question is do you know?、Uh, sorry, just I forgot the name. Our time is quite limited. So, are there any other questions in the audience? I want to know that do you know his name is Mustas,、uh, Eustace Mullins?、Uh, he, uh, he, uh, he wrote a book,、uh, Murder by Injections. This is the most important book, and I want you to read this book, okay? Sir, I don't hear a question. <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on. We have some、uh, online questions from the journalists watching online. One from Simon Denier at the Washington Post.、Mm -hmm. He asks Given the low prevalence of COVID in Japan, relatively, yeah, yeah.、Uh, will you be able to do late stage trials here?、Mm -hmm. um, and if you have to do them overseas,、mm -hmm. um, are you worried that people in Japan may be reluctant to、mm -hmm. take the vaccine?、Mm -hmm. Actually, is, uh, uh, judging from the、uh, current low prevalence of、uh, Japan situations,、uh, we, we calculated、uh, over the、uh, 200,000 uh, uh, volunteers for the、uh, phase three clinical trial if we would perform in Japan. Actually, that is very difficult conditions. Probably we will、uh, conduct the large clinical trial,、uh, including Japan and also other countries. Especially, we have、uh, contact to the,、uh, several countries in the、uh, Asian Pacific areas. I see. There's another question here from、um, Kazuhiko Suetaka.、Mm -hmm. um, 
And you kind of touched on this with the, I believe, the Dicel uh, mm -hmm. collaboration. Mm -hmm. It is said that there is a shortage of syringes mm -hmm. for vaccination worldwide. Um, is that true from your perspective? And if so, uh, what are you doing to address the issue? I think you okay. kind of talked about that with them. Yeah. Actually, the syringe is okay, but the uh, main issue is the uh, buyer of a vaccines. So actually, the buyer of a vaccine is very uh, shortage. And to uh, dissolve this issue, you mean the glass, glass, glass of a vial. Oh, vials, That's okay. very simple, but uh, currently, you know, over the uh, billions, you know, come, uh, buy vaccines are now uh, under way of the uh, productions. So uh, therefore, uh, we, uh, our groups have changed the size of our glass vials. Basically, pe uh, many companies have used one milligram of a, uh, one milliliter of a small vials, but we use a little bigger one. Mm. So therefore, uh, in case of the bigger size of our vials, uh, uh, can be available. So now we are keeping of that. I see. Any more questions? Yes, Ms. Nishimura. はい、はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
to increase the transmission efficiency, the, uh, each company have used different kind of drug delivery systems. The Pfizer and the Moderna have a different kind of delivery systems. The such kind of delivery systems and also the adjuvant may have some kind of uh, unknown side effect. So these issues should be uh, considered in future uh, usage. But in our case, therefore, we want to use very common method, like only DNA plasmid cell, and also very simple needles. And also, the, uh, our adjuvant is very uh, commonly used one, or the previously. So I think these kind of uh, bias combinations uh, also uh, con uh, affected the safety aspect. So uh, we need you know, more uh, explanation for such kind of things. I see. Any more questions, particularly from someone that hasn't talked yet? Mr. Fulford, uh, you in the back, please. Sure. Yeah. My name is Yaiko Mitsumori. Right. What do you think about a vaccine nationalism? Vaccine nationalism. Mm -hmm. What would you think about? Oh, I see. <laughs> So actually, if I could that just is, maybe that if in case that wasn't heard by the audience, uh, she's asking about vaccine nationalism, mm -hmm. and and if I could expand on that, that you know, countries around the world, especially rich countries, mm -hmm. are trying to grab these supplies mm -hmm. for their own people. So uh, what what do you think about this? Is is it a vaccine war as you have yeah. <laughs> written? Actually, vaccine nationalism have a, a two different aspects again. One is uh, already Loki san say that. The other one is to make the, some vaccine economic uh, you know, areas. For example, the China and Russia have also their own vaccines to supply their, their own you know, territories. So in this time, so, uh, how to believe that which kind of vaccine is so effective? So clearly this is another you know, vaccine nationalism. But in case of the uh, vaccine nationalism, even the uh, wellness countries, I think COVAX and CEFI uh, will help of the distribution of vaccine into the uh, developing countries. And actually, currently, the vaccine cost is very uh, cheaper and cheaper. The originally, you know, adenoviral and RNA vaccine and DNA vaccine are belong to the gene therapy techniques. So in gene therapy drugs, the cost is very expensive. But now to increase over the million, over the billion the dosage, the cost of the vaccine is now very decreased. So uh, uh, only I heard that from the newspapers, but already AstraZeneca mentioned the less than the whole dollar or something like that. That is very cheap as compared to previous vaccine. Less than, what was the price you said? Less than whole dollars. Four? Whole, whole dollars. Four dollars, yeah. wow. Okay. So even the Pfizer is $20, something like that. Right. So in the gene therapy, that usually you know, they are 200, 2 million dollars or something like that. <laughs> That's a very different manner. But therefore, the uh, cost of the vaccine is now becoming the cheaper and cheaper. I think this is a very good things for the developed countries. Okay. Any best? Mr. Fulford, if you have something brief. You th I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a, a very scientifically literate, but uh, does a DNA vaccine actually alter human DNA? And mm -hmm. a follow-up, are you going to include um, RFID nano devices to monitor the effects uh, in the body? Actually, the a spike protein is not in the belong to the human bodies. That is came from the vaccine uh, virus. And we inserted the plasma DNA cell. That's so okay. so the, the vaccine attacks the DNA of the virus, not, not the human body. It no, no, no. It does not change. Okay. They are rapidly uh, destroyed. Okay. Anyone else? Ms. Nishimura, shall we? Uh, it's to follow the, the mm -hmm. point I made uh, previously. Uh, the virus itself has uh, changed mm -hmm. 
mm. over the the months, uh, especially the diamond process virus mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the uh, virus we see in after in Italy mm -hmm. and the virus we see after in other mm -hmm. country like uh, in France mm -hmm. it was the G type. Uh, uh, has changed. So mm -hmm. the reaction from the Japanese people could be different from uh, uh, depending mm -hmm. on this uh, virus or not. Yeah, uh, actually, the difference between the uh, uh, original Wuhan type and the uh, later uh, pandemic virus of the European type is uh, basically uh, uh, distinguished by the uh, one amino acid sequence of the spike proteins. And the, uh, actually, the recently, uh, the professor Kawaoka at the Tokyo University uh, have reported one amino acid sequence that increases the infectious rate. But there is no difference in the toxicity. So uh, actually, I do not think that is a uh, one amino acid sequence have not so big difference in the special infectious rate uh, among the uh, gender or among the uh, genetic factors. If I could follow up on that, are you are you confident that your vaccine mm -hmm. and the other the major ones, Pfizer, Moderna, etc., would work against these different strains? Do you want to destroy me? Uh, sorry, the different strains you know, of the oh, coronavirus. My, my, I, I, actually, in the currently, you know, many of the vaccines, especially in advanced stage, is targeted to the blue hand types. Mm. Because of the, uh, from the, this uh, March or April, European type is spread over the world. But the originally uh, January or February is the only Wuhan type. Right. So therefore, uh, mainly, you know, uh, we and others have developed the vaccine from the this early this year. So therefore, uh, I think that the, uh, most of the vaccines have targeted to the original types. But, uh, uh, consistent with our data, they are, uh, also have reported the, uh, no big di difference in neutralizing antibody against the Wuhan type and the European type. So current the, uh, mutations is not big issues at this point. Okay. Any other questions in the room or has anything come online? Okay. Yes, sir, if you have a question. あの、すみません、ちょっと私日本語の方がいいんで、日本語で質問したいんですけども、あの、先生はですね、え、あの、私は英訳しますよ。はい。あのですね、基本的にあの、病理学的なあの、視点というか、そういうのがあの、今のその あの、血落してるような気がするんですね。それでまあ、癌なんかもそうですけども、例えば癌なんかの場合には、やはり顕微鏡的なもので観察して、その癌の顔つきみたいな形でもって、まあ、あの、あの、判定するという。しかしですね
So basically, that is the、uh, responsibility for the government. But the、uh, uh, important point is that to、uh, understand the characteristics of、uh, vaccine types, the, in case of、uh, influenza virus and other vaccines, basically only one type of vaccine is usually available. But in these times, you know, whole different kind of vaccine. Probably, if we consider very small variations, probably the over the ten different kind of vaccine might be available in near futures. So in that time, the side effect and also efficacy are different among the such kind of vaccines. So therefore, I think that it is very important to、uh, explain. Very、uh, honest and also very、uh, in details、mm-hmm. about their advantage and disadvantage to the、uh, nationwide. So,、uh, but、uh, I think that it is not so easy, but、uh, that is a very important point for the、uh, maintaining of the vaccine strategies in near futures. Okay.、Um And then one, one kind of follow up, you know, I, I spoke with、um, Professor Oshitani recently, who's kind of the, the architect of, or one of the architects of Japan's、uh, coronavirus、mm-hmm. uh, fighting effort. And he's kind of of the mindset, and I've heard this from other professors, that they think we're going to see these coronaviruses coming、mm-hmm. every two,、mm-hmm. five years, something、mm-hmm. like that.、Uh, so. Do you agree with that opinion that, you know, that these kinds of pandemics are going to become more common? And are you, are, are you optimistic that because we've created these vaccines in, in warp speed,、mm-hmm. <laughs> that we'll be able to attack them faster? Yeah, Actually, I agree with his opinions. Probably we will have such kind of a very con-、uh, difficult conditions very in near futures. But in the next times, already、uh, we have a、uh, various you know,、uh, method to compete new、uh, pandemic virus. Already, the, actually, this is the first time to make such kind of a huge amount of vaccine in the rapid, short, rapid way. But from the, this you know, experience,、uh, already we have uh, not, uh, limited in the various you know,、uh, supply and also various you know,、uh, uh, vaccine strategies. So I think that is very good thing for the next you know, such kind of a challenge. So, in the, in, with yeah, this pan- I'm speed,、uh, uh, optimistic. With this pandemic, we've created vaccines within less than a year.、Mm-hmm. In the future, Could it get even faster, do you think? Yeah, I think so too. I see. Especially to,、uh, to develop the vaccine to sell, but also to supply the large amount of the、uh, vaccine. I see. Any other questions? We're closing up. Take time. One more. The whole flight and not come first. Okay.、Uh, I'd just like to ask you, Dr. Kapp, who, who provides your funding? Where do you get your money from? That's the Japanese government. Yep. And, and you mentioned before you're looking for a partner.、Mm-hmm. You know, so you're, you may be the, one of the, the furthest ahead in this vaccine development in Japan,、mm-hmm. but you're also one of the smallest、mm-hmm. in terms of funding <laughs> and the number of doses. So I'm kind of surprised. You know, why isn't Takeda, Astellas, Daichi Sankyo, why are they not coming to you to, to give、know. you money? <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> But basically, we are very open for that kind of collaborations. I see.、Future. So you're, yeah, sure. you're, your door is open for. Yeah, of course, sure. <laughs> okay. Well, we've had a very、uh, vigorous、uh, debate today and very interesting、uh, conversation. Our time is now up.、Um, I'd like to extend to、uh, Professor Morishita, it's, it's our.、Uh, Tradition here to extend a、uh, one year honorary membership to the、uh, Foreign、yeah. Correspondents Club of Japan. I hope you will come back. I know you're based in Osaka, but it's you were just a few hours away <laughs> by Shinkansen.、Okay. So, okay, thank you very much. You. Thank you all for joining in person and those online, and,、uh, and we'll call this a close. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.